Stories from the Storm is a project of the Houston Flood Museum in partnership with Houston Public Media and is supported by Houston Endowment. Visit HoustonFloodMuseum.org. Like I said, this is just the beginning of a long, long relationship. Long life, you know, you're, you're yes, stuck sir. with me and I'm stuck with you. Yes, sir. That's the way it is. <laughs> That's the way it is. if you're aware how Pastor's Army got started or not. We were doing the food distribution and uh, just going out in the community and uh, all of the, the uh, product that we gave away, the food, the water, uh, the clothes, it just voluntarily donated to us. We were the largest nonprofit faith-based distribution center in the Houston area. Eventually, uh, you know, we begin to set up a network of people going out and that's where you got involved. Uh, I was reaching out for some help. Uh, Obviously, like, you know, our home was lost over Harvey. The only thing that we were able to save was just the studs and basically the concrete slab and the outside walls. So I, I was grateful when y'all came over and helped me demo with the demolition and the cleaning and picking up the debris. I'm so happy that we were able to, to meet you guys. Unfortunately, under this circumstance, but, you know. Yeah, you right. Know, it, Right. Well, out of adversity and, comes and it, opportunity. It seems like we're not we're not going away <laughs> anywhere soon. So uh, yeah. So, Unfortunately, this is a catastrophe that's going to last for a lot for of years. A lifetime. For a yeah, lot of yeah. years, and the impact it has made upon your family is has been long range. Yes. You know, and it's going to change yes. your life forever. And uh, so, you and your family, with your daughter Mia and her physical condition, what is, what she diagnosed she, with? She she has a, a, a childhood cancer. It's leukemia, a type of leukemia. It's called uh, acute lymphoblast uh, leukemia and uh, high risk. So yeah, yeah, she was diagnosed back in 2016. The year of 2017 was was pretty mm. impactful for for our family. Yeah, how many other children do you have? Uh, it's a total of six. Six. Yeah. Our lifelong dream home, yes. you know, that 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 uh, we had uh, sacrificed a lot for. You know, we just lost it in in a heartbeat. But in the long run, you know, if we can. If we can come alongside of each other as we're yes, doing sir. now, we're developing friendships, we're developing camaraderieship that's just yes, unreal, you know. It's and unreal. Uh, yes, uh, we wouldn't have met probably any other, any other yeah, way, yeah. you know, just no way our paths would probably have crossed, you know. So yes, sir. I often say out of adversity comes opportunities, yes, you know. Sir. And so, you know, of course, I've met Mia and been around Mia. She's such an optimistic little girl, she is. you know, and uh, she. Uh, you know, you, you you go to encourage her she ends before you up leave. She, us. She, she's really encouraging <laughs> you, you know. Yes. And, and you yes. say, wow. What is the little motto she uh, She has a, a faith over fear. And That's she came her, up with that uh, on her own, right? On her own. Faith over fear. Oh, faith over fear. You've been displaced <laughs> now for how long? Uh, for since Harvey. So it's what? Oh, 10 months now. Yeah, almost <clears> yeah. 10 months. And, uh, Close to a year. You know, you, you can't ever go back. Nothing's yes, ever the same if you, no, when you no, go no. back. We want to just be sure that we can continue to contribute as long as we have facilities and abilities. It's just been amazing to watch, watch that happen. For some reason, I think that's just, this is just the beginning for Pastor's Army, you know? I'm not interested in being a, uh, an icon in the community. I want to be a presence that makes people know that we're here for a reason, you know? And so getting acquainted with you is one of the uh, highlights of being able to accomplish that. And, uh, you know, when people have a mind and a will to do things, we find a way to do it. Yes, sir. You know, and yes, uh, and everybody doing a little here and a little there, it's amazing what gets accomplished. It's been a blessing, Pastor. It's been a blessing uh, to be involved with you guys and the help that we received firsthand. Uh, like I said, not just uh, on our recovery efforts, but also spiritually. And uh, and we wanted, I want to thank you uh, from well, the bottom of my heart welcome. on behalf of my family, on behalf of Mia. Um, and my wife and my kids and, and everyone, we want to thank you for, for, your, for what, what you're doing out there in our community.